Hey everyone, welcome back to the life of Emily. My name is Emily Cirillo and today I'm going to be showing you how I personally deal with my adult acne and do my skincare routine. So before we get started, I want to remind you, please subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So we're going to jump right into my skincare routine. So the first thing I want to tell you that is really good for skincare, especially if you have adult acne, is an exfoliator. So I got this little mask in my Ipsy bag last month, August. So I would only recommend using an exfoliator one to two times a week, maybe three. And that usually helps me keep my dead skin under control and keeps my skin looking fresh. By the way, the reason I did not do this video as a, as a get unready with me is because I didn't wear makeup today. I've been kind of stressed about my skin, so I thought that this would be a good time to chat with you guys about how I take care of it. So the next thing we're going to talk about is cleanser. This is a Soap and Glory Vitamin C Facial Wash. I've been using this for probably two years, and it's really good for my skin. It really keeps my skin clean, especially after I take off my makeup, just to make sure there's no more left. It cuts through all the oil and grease and whatever else you have on your face, so that way you will be cleansed and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And this, I just put a little bit on a little washcloth. This is damp, or actually wet. So what we're gonna do now is just scrub it all over my face. Now I'm just gonna pat my skin dry with a towel. The next thing I'm going to show you is my moisturizer. This is a Beauty 360 Hydrating Water Gel. This is the CVS version of like the Neutrogena Hydrating Water Gel. It's been really good for the summer to make sure that whenever I have breakouts, I'm still able to moisturize my skin without it being so oily. So it's a gel moisturizer. I'll show you guys what it looks like. You can not see that. Okay, anyway, it's just a little gel. I usually probably take about this much. I'm going to focus it mainly on my cheeks and on my forehead. And just rub it all over my face. One thing I also want to remind you about my moisturizer before we move on is that moisturizer, you have to use moisturizer on your skin. It doesn't matter how old or young you are, it is so important. And the reason is because if your skin is really oily, but you've never used a moisturizer before, and you're like constantly scrubbing your face to try to get it clean to get rid of those oils, what you're doing is stripping away your face of its natural oils, and so your skin is overproducing the bad oils that make you greasy. And so that's why I used to be like, whenever I was in middle school, like, I am so greasy, but I do not put any grease on my face. Like, I consistently just wash my face, and that's why. So just know that most cleansers that have, um, especially like citric acid, salicylic acid in them for um, acne, for acne solutions, they can strip those natural oils away from your skin, and they do. And so you need to make sure that you're replenishing them with a moisturizer, even if it's something really light and cheap from the drugstore. It will help your face so much not to overproduce those oils and therefore cause breakouts. So I hope that that was a helpful tip. I literally learned this like two years ago, and since I've learned it, my skin has been so much better, and it's been so much nicer to me. We don't fight as much these days. <laughs> So I definitely recommend get yourself a good moisturizer. A couple more things. If you're more oily, you should go for a gel moisturizer. But if you're more dry, especially in the winter, I'll move on to this. You want to use a cream moisturizer so it's oil-based and it'll really get your skin moisturized. Whereas a gel is not so oil-based and it's a lot thinner. It is storming so hard here. I'm sure that you guys can hear it. <laughs> So the next thing I want to talk to you about is lip balm. So this is the Smith's Rosebud Salve. This is from Ulta, I think, and it's $6 usually, but mine's almost empty. Um, I use a lot of this stuff. It keeps my lips really fresh. So if you're ever wondering like what I'm wearing when I start a makeup tutorial on my lips because they're looking so glossy, it's usually this. And this lip balm really makes my lips look really juicy and beautiful. And you're probably wondering, Emily, why aren't you talking about lip balm in a skincare video? So let me tell y'all something. 
lately my skin has been doing this thing and by lately I mean for like the past five years my skin has been doing this thing where whenever I put any kind of lip balm on it breaks out all around my mouth so whenever I have chapped lips especially in the summer when it's really hot and I'm gonna drink in enough water if I do not have my lip balm and I try to use like a different one especially um regular chapstick brand chapstick absolutely breaks me out um Burt's Bees breaks me out most lip balms do and they just break me out right around my mouth so that's why I've been really enjoying this one because it's really good for my lips and makes them look really good as well as it doesn't break me out around my mouth and it seems to get my skin clearer than any other kind of lip balm that I've used alrighty so the last thing I have for you guys this is a Clinique Acne Solutions clearing gel so this is for spot treatment of zits and stuff like that so I usually just pop this right so I usually just put a little bit of this right on top of where I have breakouts and I just stab it right where I have breakouts so that way it clears them up and it usually dries them in like a couple of days. This is one of the best ones I've tried. Let me know if you guys have tried this before I've been using it since probably like 8th grade. <laughs> Okay, well, I know this video is super short, but I wanted to come on here and tell you guys about how I take care of my skin and how I try to my best to prevent adult acne. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you learned anything from this video, leave me a comment below and tell me because I love teaching you guys stuff about makeup and skincare. It's one of my favorite things to do. So let me know what you think of this video. Remember to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.